Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online. So we have escaped from Cold Harbor. We're in the world of Tamriel now. And um, we're in an area where a lot of people have been shipwrecked. It's a pretty desolate looking place. But I have a couple of quests at the moment to go on. And as you can see I'm on my way to some of the quests now. So I have one up here. I have one here. I have a couple over here. And as we're just walking along. Um, we're finding other guys with the little quest objective symbol on top of their head to tell us that they have more tasks for us to do. So there was a fire and she wants us to find her tools to trade for medicine. So that that shouldn't be any major problem at all. It looks like they're on the other side of this bridge over here in this kind of farm looking area. So let's go over there and see um, see what there is to do. So if I talk to him I haven't seen or her even. In the ah, the shipwreck. Worst hurricane. Right, so she just wants to warn me to be careful. Hello. Um, so, where are we going? We're going over here to find something. Let's kill a skeever. There we go. I will summon my familiar as well, just to get him out for us. Nothing else really around here. So where's this workbench? I got a new ab ability as well. Um, let's see, there we go. I got um, an elemental damage attack so it looks like a frost bolt kind of thing um, so that's an option for me now as well um, I got that just as I left the the starting area so let's have a look up here and see if we can find what we're looking for burnt crates to search eh? is there anything in these no So here we go, Scorched Workbench. Nothing to salvage. Okay, so there's nothing we can salvage out of there for her. Couple of other objective points around here. Let's kill this skeever. There we go. Freeze his ass and then blast him with our weapon. Destructive Touch increased to rank 2. So what that means is that is my basic um, destructive staff ability that's the one I learnt that causes the knockback so that's that's rank 2 now um, it's gotten stronger because I've used it more um, and that's another thing about the abilities in this they'll get stronger as you use them more and you'll unlock better um, better upgrades for them. So if I take a look at my um, armor, light armor class. Um, so right now I have no armor class skills because I, I just have the standard starting gear. I haven't equipped any armor yet. Um, as I equip and fight in light armor, my light armor skill will go up and that will allow me to unlock each of these. So as so that first one, evocation, is unlocked at light armor rank 2. So when I've used light armor enough to get that up to 2, I'll be able to spend a skill point to unlock that ability. Um, which is really cool because it means while you're not restricted from say putting points into two-handed swords as a mage um, you will have to use two-handed swords before you can put some points in there so let's get this skeever I only seem to be able to use that other ability from a rather close range so I might look into getting some further range attacks as I move on too late sugar thief Fire destroyed every last cal you lie. My father left yesterday to trade in Mistral. We oh, so this guy set the fire that burnt his house down. I should really go check on my father. So he's gonna go check on his family even after he has basically ruined their lives. You get in there, little familiar, you sort that shit out. Um so 
our next objective for that quest was um, let's set this as our focus which means it will appear on the map so that general area over there get away from me skeever so we're looking to go find the skooma over here so let's just cross this beach what's attacking me it is my familiar i'm not being attacked at all i am very paranoid um right so let's just go for a bit of a swim over here And we're looking for. Are we there yet? No, almost there. So our objective on the top. Ah. So. Never mind. It looks like I'm uh, involved in a little combat here. Freeze his ass. There we go. Got that bandit down. He only dropped a gold, but oh well. So, the general area you're in is displayed on the map. So, if we had things to gather, it'd just show a circle like that. When you're not within the range, it's just a little arrow with a circle around it at the top of your screen. When you're in an area that there is a quest objective, the whole objective bar glows to let you know, hey, there's quest items here, which is pretty handy, actually. So let's search this um, mound of dirt. And there we go, a sack of skooma vials, which is what that guy was after. Um, and there's an enemy over here. It's gone now. So we now need to go and talk to the Khajiit that burnt his family's farm down. Oh, Thunderbug. What's that? I don't know, but I want to kill it. There we go. Carapiece. Sell to a merchant for gold. So this, this is a crafting material for one of the crafts. I'm not sure which it is. This is an enchanting item. Um, so if I press E on this rune, I will start to carve it, to, to carve it and then I, I can collect the rune. And that's one of the handy things about the crafting skills in this game, is you don't have to ha be restricted to certain skills. There's no such thing as like not being able to gather a material because you don't have the required gathering skill. If I wanted to mine iron ore right now, I could go mine iron ore. If I wanted to skin something for leather working, I could go skin something. Um, I'm not restricted. So where are we going? There's a hey, quest up here apparently. So there's someone just running up to me to the offer a quest to me. So she's part of an expedition. So her master is trapped inside the temple over there. I see. I'm going to concentrate on handing in this quest that we um that we have right now before I go do that. Fine. You're not half a fussy cunt, are you? Right, so let's look at our quest journal and mark this one as our focus. That's the quest. Yeah it is. Okay, right, let's go because she's not going to stop yelling at me until we do. So we need to enter the temple courtyard as our first objective. Ooh, sky shot. And this is... There's someone that found some iron ore. So I could have mined that if they hadn't got there first. So this is what I said. Here's a sky shot just out in the general world. Sometimes they'll be hidden and sometimes they'll be really obvious like this, but you can get these as you explore. Um, so this is the second sky shot I found. One more and I will unlock um, a skill point to spend on an ability. You have such intricate stitching. 
So this skeleton wants to talk to me. You aren't welcome here. I'm whatever I wish to be. I change bodies like high elves change clothes. They're the corpses in this. Okay, so this guy is possessed. The name for my newest outfit. His flesh sags a bit. Though the power in his bones reminds me of Oh well. Wow. The road set foot in this temple and see for yourself. So this guy has possessed or done something to that girl's master. Um, disrupt the temple wards are our current objectives. So let's go try and disrupt those wards then. Here's a skeleton warrior. You just sort yourself out there, buddy. There we go. Sip of oh, there is some light armor. So this is um, this is the first armor piece I've picked up. So if we go to apparel in the inventory, um, we can equip our homespun gloves. And there we go. We are now a light armor user. That's the first piece of armor we've picked up. So it looks like there is a spider ward. Oh. Okay, that guy's bugged out. Again, remember, this is beta, so a few bugged mobs are, like, not a whole lot to be concerned about. So here's the spider ward. Oh, this is freaky looking. Looks like blood or something. Let's examine this. Okay, so she's going to disrupt the ward while I guard her, I guess. No one dead? Okay, no one dead. Um, I was expecting to have to defend that point there, but I guess not. Oh, more skeletons. So let's go. Oh, let's dodge that attack. Oh, he's going to shoot me with his bow. I'm finding... I'm not gonna lie, um, this is probably just due to me being bad. If anyone's watched my, uh, my Rathion videos and things from WoW, um, you'll know that up until Final Fantasy came out, I was a bit of a keyboard turner. Um, so this could just be me being bad, but I'm finding the combat in, um, in this a little bit awkward because I can't move with my mouse. Um, that to me is a little bit upsetting because I'm used to being able to move with my mouse um, and I'm finding it hard enough to activate my abilities um, and move at the same time as a result of that but you know it's a new game I've only got to like level 8 in it. it it could just take a bit of practice before I'm used to it okay so Oh, that was her frozen into a block of ice? The fuck? Where are we going? Um, scorpion Ward. So we're looking for the Scorpion Ward. Which is up here. There's a lot of bad guys around. Everyone just seems to be running past them. So let's deactivate the scorpion ward. This ward won't keep us out for long. We'll let her take care of it while we um, keep an eye out for bad guys. Okay, job done. Scorpion ward has been dealt with. Um, so let's enter the temple now kill these guys guarding the temple entrance. What am I standing in? I, wh I'm frozen in spot right now. That was not good. So there comes the thief in to save my ass. Um, using his little um, teleporty shadow dancey ability. So we're down in the catacombs now. 
try and see what's happened to her master. So let's have a look around. See if we can spot anything. I heard lightning. Let's look around. There must be a way to disrupt it. Hmm. The cycle of the two moons seems to be the key to dispersing the barrier. Okay. So this is a puzzle. I am not good with puzzles. Um, is this a way out? Yeah, that, that that's a way out to another quest, but we, we want to deal with this one. So the cycle of the two moons seems to be the way to disrupt the barrier. So here's new moons. Let's start with that. Here's waning moons. No. Here's waxing moons. Here's full moons. Um, waning or waxing? Waning is w when they're starting, is it? No. No, it's not. Waxing is when they're starting. Hmm. The cycle of the two moons seems to be the key to dispersing the barrier. Right, so new moons turn into waxing moons, turn into full moons, turn into waning moons. The barrier is down. Boom! But before we proceed, am I good or am I good? What do you want? When we entered the temple, that skeleton made it sound as though Aurelian was in grave danger. I won't let vague threats keep us from my master. But Aurelian is too important to lose. Perhaps we should think before we act. Should we? Why is he so important? Aurelian for his sound judgment. He's taught countless students the ways of magicka, including some of the queen's own advisors. Okay, so he's a teacher. All right. I will do what I can to protect him. However, I may have to fuck him up regardless. Wait, that's Aurelian. What's he doing up there? What is he doing up there? Ears that large and you still don't listen. Perhaps you need a few alterations. There was a time when the sound of Aldor's voice commanded the terror of thousands. Who is Aldor? I am. I'm Aldor. I see your dominion teaches you nothing of my people. Never mind that accursed blue. Free him right now. I'll keep him. At least until my summoning ritual wears him. <laughs> okay, so looks like I'm gonna have to fight this guy. Oh. I'll destroy the bone piles if you keep the undead at bay. Okay, right. Can do. Um, destroy the bone piles. That I can do. Um, right. Oh, that's a lot of undead. You just go shite. And you. And you as well. Done. Sorted. Right. Let's get this one now. Oh ho! There's another Chiromancer. Let's sort him out. And we need more more bone piles to stop. Here's one over here. This is just a quest that came up from someone randomly approaching me in the street, basically. And yeah, it's got its own area, it's got a big story behind it, which is actually a pretty cool story. Um, so, the fact that someone just ran up and offered me a quest like this with this much backstory is so cool. Alright, last circle. We can do this. Sort it out. Oh god. So right, let's deal with these guys. Okay, done. Stay back. Whoa. Get out of my body. I'm stunned. 
You can't move. Right. Confront Uldor. Let's get him. Get back here, Uldor. Can I freeze him? No, I can't. Okay, let's enter the Great Hall. Where are you gone, Uldor? Looks like he's up here somewhere. What's this? Rorellian's observation. Mm. Anything to find down here? Any chests? Anything hidden? I don't see anything obvious. Vase, search that. Ingredients for crafting. More ingredients for crafting. So where is Uldor? Uldor, I command you by the tears of the two moons, return to your prison. Your Gathwin's ally, yes? Please disable these traps so she can make it to us safely. Okay. Um disable. Was that it? Why couldn't you pull the lever? All my knowledge. Uldor's influence over me was absolute oh, only my pride. But we have a more pressing matter. As old Uldor was a powerful Malmo wizard, who the Morning Stone's endless water supply tied Uldor's spirit to his body. When Eelsil removed the Morning Stone from the temple, he set Uldor free. These gems focus. Okay, so we need to restore his prison to stop him taking over the world with undead. Covers the Morning Stone from Eagle Strand. Meanwhile, we restore Uldor's prison. Okay. I know what you're planning. I won't let you throw your life away. Really Just do what you're told. Possess him. They'll both be sealed in the tomb forever. Oh. But it doesn't need to be this way. Seal me inside. Aurelian is too important for the Dominion to lose. Besides, we both saw how the summoning ritual weakened my master. She does have Please, a point. Help me convince Aurelian. I will gladly seal myself oh. in the tomb to spare my master. Uldor is a threat to all on this island. Oh. Moral dilemma. All right, I'm gonna seal her in. I should prepare myself. Cool. Sorry, I am ready Nothing when you are. Me. I'm sealing myself in that tomb. Then. Okay. Catherine, I beg you to reconsider. You're too important, Aurelian. If the Dominion lost you, we would be lost. Then I'll recover the Morning Stone. Farewell, my dearest friend. He didn't do much arguing about that. Farewell, Aurelian. Okay, let's go. Let's seal this tomb. Um. Oh. So is this him? So I'm supposed to let him claim her. I'll help you reap the vengeance you seek, if you allow me. Such a spectacular willing garment. Very well. I can't fight him for long. Quickly, place the tears of the two moons in the pedestal. Wretched fool. Okay. Whoa. No, oh, sealing this. Thank you. Thank you. Oh! There we go. Oh! Jesus. If you could stop lightning blasting me, that would be fantastic. Oh god. There we go. Oh! Yikes. Right. Place them on the pedestal. On the pedestal. And fine. Oh. And finally, one last one. 
No, I didn't get that one. Shit. There we go. This tomb can't hold me forever. The water weakens all door. But I can't hold him for long. Quickly. Go to Aurelian. Tell him I did what must be done. I know Aldor will keep me alive. He far prefers a living form to the dead. Strange. How can I know this? I feel him stirring within me. Help Aurelian restore the Morningstone. Oh ho! She is getting possessed! Fuck, let's get out of here. Let's go back to, um, Aurelian. Let him know his poor girlfriend is, um, Possessed and trapped underground in a cave forever. That's probably the worst news I've ever had to break to anyone in a game. So let's climb back out of the tomb. He's back at the central rune, so he's back where we uh where we unlocked the wards and sorted all that shit out. Here he is. He's not going to be happy about this. The morning stone. But if you're here, then Gathwin is lost to that monster. You speak truth, and yet the young should never die for the old. It is the singular travesty of war. That that it is. I need to record everything that happened here. Uldor's skill troubles me. Without further study, the Dominion will bear no defense against his strange capabilities. At least we will be prepared next time. There may be a way to separate him from Gathwin, but it will take much time and study. She's not just an apprentice. She's my friend. If there's a way to free her, I swear I'll fight it. Well, it's good to know he's not just abandoning her. So here we go. We have our choices of quest rewards. We finished that little um, random quest. Pretty awesome quest for just something that someone ran up to me on the street and offered me we have a bow as a reward not much use to me but 112 gold is plenty useful so let's get that please do that open me a portal um so let's use the portal to return back to the temple courtyard there we go. Oh, and now the temple courtyard is populated by people? Ghosts? Weird. We unlocked another skill point. So as you can see, I have gained light armor abilities now since I equipped that, um, that, that light armor I had. So what can I do now? I can learn my next ability. I am going to go with enemy is cursed for six seconds when effect completes the target takes 33 magic damage and nearby enemies take 16 magic damage only one curse may be active at a time I am going to unlock um, Daedric curse as my third ability well guys, we kind of got off track there. I was aiming to do a completely different quest, but then that one sprung out of nowhere and caught us by surprise. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Um, I showed you my new abilities. We got another skill point, found a sky shard, and completed a pretty cool quest if I do say so myself. The beta weekend isn't over, so I'm, I'm not done yet. Um, if you're interested in seeing more Elder Scrolls Online to decide if you want to buy it or not, or just to see what it plays like, um, or what the Sorcerer class is like if you're not sure what class to play, hit that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel because there's going to be um, more videos coming out as I continue to play this character over the beta weekend. Um, Check us out on Facebook and Twitter as well, guys, and drop us a like and a tweet if you're enjoying um, our videos. And hopefully I will see you all in Tamriel when The Elder Scrolls launches. Bye.